girl that keto fried chicken that keto fried chicken was everything okay hello my friends it's now time for week two the week two keto update so I'm just gonna be honest with you we're just gonna jump right in but first if this is your first time watching me hello welcome to my channel my name is Gia and I post weekly keto updates I share what I'm eating I share how I'm feeling I share how I'm looking all of that all in one happy video I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell next to it and for those already subscribed welcome back so I'm just gonna be honest with you girl listen linda listen i fell weak into the flesh for two days out of last week i'm like a week and a half ahead of you guys so um when this is up the week that i'm showing you is the week of easter and on easter day i completely just ate what i wanted i just went ham so excuse that day i'm not going to share everything in that day because yeah um, and then on Tuesday, I would eat at my mom's and she had a seafood boil and I ate the corn and the potatoes. But you guys will see. You guys will see. I'll go ahead and watch what I eat for the whole week and then we'll chat afterwards. Good morning. Happy Monday. Starting off with my Bulletproof coffee. Um, and this time I didn't put any heavy cream in it. I just have the coconut milk, the creamer that I like. Uh, it's all linked in my Amazon store. Um, and some stevia drops. Time for lunch. Right now it is, let's see, 1.25. I'm making myself a smoothie. This is like a hodgepodge for lunch. I'm having a half a piece of barbecue chicken from last week and a hot dog. <laughs> Seems like a lot of food. And one of my low carb keto bagels, which will be in my meal prep um, video of that. Hasn't posted yet, it will be uploaded soon. So um, we have tennis today and we'll be getting back home from tennis kind of late. So I just want to make sure that I am nice and energized for our tennis lesson. Okay, so here's my plate all done. Random, I know, but I warmed up this half piece of barbecue chicken. I have a hot dog with some fried onions on it. And then my little mini bagels, which I absolutely love. They make me so happy. My little mini keto bagels. And then I have my smoothie. Happy Tuesday. It's breakfast time. I did not eat again. The last thing that you guys saw me eat with the smoothie, I did not eat again, um, even after tennis. And so I'm eating now for the first time again. It's right now, it's 8.59. I have my little mini bagels. Honestly, these are so good that I cannot imagine breakfast without it. <laughs> One fried egg with some everything bagel seasoning and two pieces of bacon. It is now 9.30. I'm about to drink my Bulletproof coffee for today for the day because I'm freezing right now and so I just need to warm up even though I'm not like I don't feel like I need any coffee but I'm like so cold I'm just gonna drink it now oh and this was made with coconut milk stevia drops and this power creamer sweet vanilla it's really good it's made with natural flavor na natural ingredients this is linked in my Amazon store I am so hungry y'all it is right now 3 30 I'm gonna eat a little bit of leftover um, shrimp alfredo well, uh, langostino I used alfredo. If you wanna see how I made this in my Sunday setup, you can tap this out right here. It's very good and I have zucchini noodles underneath. Happy Thursday. No, happy Wednesday, friends. So yesterday I had a moment of weakness and I ate what I showed you on my plate, including the bread and the potatoes and the corn. And then I had a second helping and I ate that too. Then when I got home that evening, um, last night, I ate some Oreos. I just completely, and some chips. I completely fell off the bandwagon. But today is a new day, my friend. I'm back on it. I am not giving up. The old me would have just threw this whole week away, but I'm not going there. I'm going to enjoy this bulletproof coffee that I'm about to drink right now. It's 9.07 a.m and try to get back into ketosis. Here's my Bulletproof coffee for today. I used the power creamer, and then I used a few stevia drops and some heavy cream. And hopefully I won't eat again until dinner time. Yummy, can't wait to eat this for dinner. Girl, that keto fried chicken, that keto fried chicken was everything, okay? I will be sharing that 
and the keto bagels in next Monday's video, which is going to be a keto meal prep, an epic meal prepping video that I put um, that I filmed. It's all going to be about keto chicken, keto bagels, keto pizza. It's like mm, it's going to be so delicious. So stay tuned for that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's breakfast time. I got my keto bagel and some scrambled eggs. And right now it's 10 30. I forgot to tell you guys about that keto fried chicken last night. It was so good. My entire family ate it. Anyway, this is my Bulletproof coffee. Um, I put liquid stevia in there, and this time I used the power creamer um, in the natural cacao flavor, I guess like chocolatey. We'll see how it tastes. Um, so yeah, now my coffee looks like a chocolate coffee. And I put coconut milk in there. Yes, and yes, dinner's kind of late tonight. It's actually 7.22. I'm about to eat this baby wedge salad and these wings with some blue cheese. Ugh, so good. Happy Friday. So today I'm gonna have a little sandwich, a little with my keto bagel. I made a little sausage sandwich and a fried egg with a piece of cheese, half a piece of cheese, yummy. It's Bulletproof Coffee time. Right now it's 11.15. I'm not um, hungry, but I do feel tired. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drink my Bulletproof coffee now. Plus I don't wanna drink it too late because um, I don't like to have caffeine like past noon because I just have a problem going to sleep at night. This time I put this Omega Power Creamer in there, the natural cacao, um, instead of the sweet vanilla. And I have to say, I prefer sweet vanilla. The natural cacao, it's not as sweet. To me, I mean, this isn't sweet, sweet, but I could still taste the flavor. This, I have to put a lot more of it in. I mean, I still add a few liquid stevia drops and I added heavy cream today to it um, just because I just need a little pick me up, you know, nice little treat. So anyway, this is my Bulletproof coffee. These are gonna be linked in my Amazon st store. This one's my favorite by far so far though, as far as a keto creamer. Dinner for tonight. Mm. It's kind of late at 7.20. We usually eat later on Fridays. So I'm just going to cut like this portion off. This portion. And that's what I'm going to eat tonight. The rest I will have for lunch tomorrow and the day after. Happy Saturday, my friends. So today I have one scrambled egg, two pieces of bacon, and a keto bagel. These are so good. I seriously feel like I need to have one every single day. They're so good. I just pop them in the toaster and put some butter on there. So you can add cream cheese. These are, I put everything bagel seasoning on them, so they are so good. It's just like taste having a regular bagel, so it's a good breakfast for me today. Right now it's two o'clock. I'm gonna have some leftover pizza, just one slice for lunch today. Dinner tonight is Jamaican jerk wings. I know those plantains are not keto friendly, girl, but I'm eating them, and some cabbage. So that is what I ate. So like I said, I'm not even gonna, I didn't even show the full day on Sunday or the day at all, but just know, girl, I had all of the food I wanted on Easter, <laughs> all the candy, all the jelly beans, all of that. Your girl ate it and it is what it is. This, I just want you guys to know because I think I received a comment in last week's video about how um, because I share the things that aren't keto friendly, I'm encouraging you to not eat ketogenically and that's definitely not what these videos are intended for. These videos are just me sharing the ups and the downs that I have personally. I'm not perfect. You know, I encourage you guys to eat whatever makes you feel good, whether that's keto or not. Whatever you feel like fuels your body in a positive way so that you feel good about yourself, that you have the energy that you need so that you could just live your best life, you know? So don't take anything that I share in this video as you feeling like, as me telling you that you have to eat exactly what I eat, okay? So I just wanted to say that. But yeah, I have the ups and downs. Sunday, I ate all day. <laughs> I felt really bloated afterwards. Tuesday, it was just that one meal that I ate that made me, that was not keto friendly. Um, and then I bounced right back the next day. I forgave myself and I bounced right back. And I encourage you guys to do that as well. It's, it's just, this is a lifestyle change. It's not like, I'm gonna be eating ketogenically for the rest of my life. Absolutely not, that's not what we're doing. I allow myself, like especially during the holidays, to just eat what I wanna eat because realistically that's just how it's gonna be. I'm not gonna eat clean keto 100% of the time. So again, you know, that's what happened, but I still feel really good. I feel like I look really, really good. Um, let me show you guys how I look in my bikini. Girl, look what's back. Look what's back, girl, that fake thigh gap. Yes, honey. Well, anyway, listen, I'm feeling really good. Even though, um, you know, I fell off the wagon for two days of last week, I'm still feeling good. It's been a couple days since 
I ate whatever I ate, wanted to on Easter. So the bloating, the bloating has come down, but girl, listen, the way I'm feeling in this, this bathing suit right now is making me feel like it's worth it. I'm feeling energized, I'm feeling good. I like the way I look. I like my little fake thigh gap by just pushing my butt out. I will never naturally have a thigh gap, never. I don't care how thin I am. I will never have a natural thigh gap, but I sure could fake one for a photo just like this and my best Kardashian pose. So, but anyway, I'm, I'm feeling good about myself. Hopefully you guys are feeling good about yourselves too. And we're just on this journey, whether you're keto or not, you want to feel good about yourself. So eat whatever makes you feel good about yourself. No guilt, nothing, none of that afterwards, you know? So, and of course what's healthy for our body, what energizes our body and fuels it. So this is me. I shot that footage several days after Easter, so I'm not as bloated as I felt that Sunday evening or that Monday morning, I should say. So I waited a couple days um, to shoot that, but I feel like I'm feeling good. Like I feel like my waist is coming in, girl. I feel like I'm getting summertime fine, okay? Summertime fine. I feel really good. I feel like I look sexy. I just like the way I'm feeling. I feel like I have a lot of high energy. Um, everything's doing good. Now I did get several comments in last week's video about, um, you, a lot of you guys are new and, or you feel really hungry all the time. Is there anything advice that I have for beginners? And I'm thinking about doing a separate video about that. So leave a comment down below any questions that you have about my journey, um, or any questions that you have about keto. Now I am not a keto expert. I just try to follow and eat clean keto the majority of the time. Uh, if you have any specific questions about my journey, please leave them down below and then maybe I'll do a separate video about, um, you know, keto for beginners or, cause it could get overwhelming, you know, and if you're feeling hungry all the time, that probably means you're not eating enough healthy fats. You don't want to get all your fats from eating cheese and bacon and, um, you know, a lot of dairy products all the time, even though, um, they are low in carb, it's not necessarily the cleanest keto foods to eat. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, leave any of your questions down below. I'm feeling good. I did step on the scale. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I did step on the scale. Um, I don't know what my beginning weight was when I, you know, for the current restart, but I do, I am down. You know, I've ne I have never gotten back to where I originally was um, from the summer of 2018. And I can tell by the footage that I'm not. And I can tell by the way my bathing suit feels and my clothes feels that I'm not. So that's good. Um, so again, I'm not trying to be overly obsessive about a number on the scale. I'm just trying to look and feel my best, honey. That's all we can do in this life. Okay, so like I said, leave a comment down below any questions that you have. Hopefully you're doing good on whatever journey or road you're on. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms. I'll list it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.